Dividing once more by a whole number, they give us 10.22, and they want us to divide it by 9. Our dividend has a decimal in it right here, so our quotient will also have a decimal right there. 9 into 1 won't go. 9 into 10 goes once. 1 times 9 is 9. 10 minus 9 is 1. Drop down another digit. Start again. 9 into 12 goes once. 1 times 9 is 9. 12 minus 9 is 3. Drop down another digit and start again. 9 into 32 goes 3 times. 3 times 9 is 27. Subtract 32 minus 27 is 5. Do we stop? We actually can't stop yet because they've asked us for an answer to the nearest thousandth. We don't have the thousandths yet. So we crack on. We've got all the zeros we need up here. Drop down to zero. 9 into 50 goes 5 times. 5 times 9 is 45. 50 minus 45 is 5. What do you think? Should we stop now? We actually can't because they say round this answer to the nearest thousand. Think about how we do our rounding. When we're rounding, this is the last digit we intend to keep. And the question we ask ourselves is, are we going to round this up to 6, or are we going to leave it as a 5? To decide that, we have to look at the next digit over. And we don't have that one yet, so we have to go on one more step before we're done with this thing. Drop down another 0. 9 goes into 50 5 times. 5 times 9 is 45. Subtract, you get 5. OK, now take a look at this. How should we round this to the nearest thousandth? Here's our thousandths place. Do we round up? Yeah, we do. This gets rounded up to 0.136. Our quotient's going to be 1 and 136 thousandths. And anybody who stopped right here and gave 1.135 is going to get red ink because they didn't go far enough. You always have to go to the decimal place that they asked for, plus one more place so you can decide which way to round. Tricky.